Links are probably one of the most interesting and exciting parts of the web. It's how we find our way around. We go to one page, click on something, it takes us to a new page. So how do links look in the actual uh, markup and how do they work? So let's look at a few examples. I'm going to go back over to my JS Fiddle and uh, I've created a web page with some pretty simple links. Here's how this page looks and let's go through what these links are actually going to do first. So here's one link. When I click on it, um, I am have been redirected to a different page. So I actually have to go back over here and, and run the page again. Uh, this second, uh, this link way over here on the right, when I click on that, it's actually going to open this in a new tab in my browser. So that was a little bit of a different behavior. You may have seen this before. Um, and finally, uh, here just to show you that links can actually do some interesting things, here's a link that's going to try to get me to send email. So this link is opened by Mac by trying to get me to use their mail client, which I don't do. So I'm going to hit quit. Um, but it's possible that if you had your mail client set up, they would open it up and it would, it would ask you to send a message, in this case to me. So how do these links look in the actual markup? So here's the markup over here. Uh, this is the format of a link. So a link is, is used something called an A tag. Uh, I open that over here. Um, and the, uh, the anchor tag has this href. And the href is what actually uh, contains the target of the link. So the href says, this is the page that this link points at. In this case, this is a page that we set up on this uh, experiment server that we use for the class. Um, now this tag is interesting because this tag shows an example of a tag where there's actually parameters inside the tag itself. So in the h1 tag, we didn't have any of these. In the anchor tag, uh, we have this href uh, field, and this contains the, the, the target of the link. And then the text that's displayed that you can actually click on is what's in the remainder of the tag. So if I go over here, I can see that this link is rendered with the text here is a link. And the reason for that is because that's the text that appears right here. Here is a link. Let me add a, a new line here so this is easier to see. And then I have the closing part of the, the href tag. Um, the second example, so this is, this is a web link. This is HTTPS uh, slash slash. This is an email link. So this is an example of using a link on a web document to trigger sending email. And what this will do is this will open up a mail client and start a message that is to me. So mail2 is the protocol. It's mail2 colon and then shallon at buffalo.edu. So that would send me an email or start the process of sending me an email. You'd have to type you know, the contents and the subject and things like that. But I would open up a mail. The idea here is that this is supposed to open up a mail client, give me the chance to send in mail. So the final example looks quite similar to the first one um, in that it is also a web link. It has an href that points at a website, https slash or colon slash slash. Um, here's the text. You can see over here, uh, this one is, is rendered as this link opens in a new page. The difference here is that I've added this extra attribute to the link. And the attribute says, uh, let me see if I can add some white space so it looks a little bit better. Um, no, it doesn't, blah, 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 it doesn't let me do that, does it? Um, yeah, so the, the attribute says target equals underscore blank. And this is like a little magic incantation that you add to the link that instructs the web browser to open it in a new tab. So again, if I go back over here and I click on this link, rather than being opened in the same page, so if I click on this link, it's opened in the same page. If I click on this other link, it opens in a new browser. Um, and that's, so these are some of the, the simple examples of links. Uh, each link has a couple of different components. Um, it has a target that appears in this href. And the target, as I've shown you, can either be, typically it's another website. Um, it can also be uh, an email address. And then the link has text that appears inside of it. So that's the part that is typically underlined on your, on your page. And that's the thing you would actually point to and click on. Uh, so when, you, when I point to this text, the web browser is going to redirect me to this particular page. And this is how simple linking works online.